find them. Oh my, there's a fully equipped secret bunker down there. Looks like an off-the-books cup shop. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Whatever they're working on, let them to the poor and bomb in some hole. The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Strange bedfellows, Albion and Clan Kelly. But if you think about it, maybe not so strange. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. People are literally being kidnapped half the streets. We have to do something. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. Auto drive now enabled. You have a criminal record. This Albion clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former dead sec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London-born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, Auto drive may be the only disabled. reason he escaped Zero Day's dead sec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. 
We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sick. This is kind of personal team. Finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Damn. If he's here in the country, we have a chance of finding him at least. But at the EPC, lad knows what is happening to him over there. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. So, I've delved more into Kaylin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases center around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. Let's find our contact. Arben's not gonna hesitate to hurt Ianjal if they find out he's dead sick. Summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. This is off the record, right? I don't need them knowing we're here. No worries. I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right?
taking <laughs> What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while. Like, no. This is all so wrong. How is the government gonna go on treating people like animals? You could disappear and no one even notice. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. As expected, if there's trouble, that damn Mary Kelly has to be involved. Truth. Now, about your missing guy, the best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Putting the location of the EPC database on your optic. a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview.
You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DeadSec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking talks? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you. You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the four corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Are you done, Bugs? I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Nice work. CT Lopez, AR. Data reconstruction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. Just, just let me out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Ah! Looks like an implant or something. We need to take a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orgy that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. They put a microchip in his neck. But for what? Tracking? Behavior modification? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Follow him. Let's hope he got away. Fucker! Get him! Before he triggers! Fuck! He's getting away! Get after him! Shit, they're catching up on him. Come on, Angel. You fuckers! Okay, he's gonna make it. Get fucked up! We don't have a match yet, she's gonna kill us! Nah, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's tube him, get him in the van and out to the incinerator. I wasn't expecting that. Looks like that chip wasn't just some ordinary trucker. It looks like they remotely triggered it. I'm not sure what Mary Kelly is up to, but I do think Angel might still be alive. We need to find him. See what they did to him. And what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, Zero Day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. 